OMG. Welcome back to my channel. So excited that you're here. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I appreciate you. It's Jody Dunn and it's Wednesday. <laughs> I'm coming at you with my CVS haul. Finally, OMG. You know, that's just what happens when you have new grandbabies and I'm helping out as much as I can. I was going to go to CVS yesterday, um, but I knew I was going to have to go late in the afternoon or early evening because I'm helping Grayson out a couple of days a week. Um, and I was there all day yesterday and I just, I didn't make it there. So we're here today. If you are new and you just found me, so happy that you are here. Would you please say hello to me and let me know that you are new right down there. I would love to welcome you to the channel and say hello back to you. And if you are already subscribed, thank you so much for coming back to another video. A lot of you probably have already done your shopping. Um, I'm not doing a whole heck of a lot at CVS. Definitely a few good deals. Um, if you are new to CVS, there is a link down in the description box where I have tutorials on how to coupon at CVS. I walk you through a ton of things that should be super helpful if you have questions about CVS. Uh, there's a lot of clearance happening if your store still has any. I actually didn't have clearance on my radar. Of course, I wanted to go over there and check just to see what they had. I would have loved to score like a fan on 90% uh, off because we always go through fans. We sleep with fans in our house. So, but I didn't find anything. I did, however, find some kids things that I was like, oh, that's too good of a price. So I'll show you what I found. Uh, and then I ran over to Rite Aid because we got a little bit of hot deals over at Rite Aid again this week. So uh, that's it. We're going to run into the store and do our shopping. And then we will debrief at the kitchen table, table per normal if you enjoy this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. Oh, let's go grab some awesome deals. Happy Wednesday. We are in the CVS getting ready to do our haul. And I just want to say if any of you are in Florida, I am sending all of the prayers. I hope you all stay safe. All right, I'm going to be working on two different cards today. I have threshold coupons that were emailed to me on both cards. And the first deal I'm looking at is the Glucerna, which is on promotion for buy two, earn back a $10 extra buck. And I was trying to decide if I wanted the mini treats or the snack bars. I grabbed the snack bars that are $6.29. Then I swapped them out for the mini treats, which are $6.79. I'll tell you why in just a little bit. And I said that backwards. I picked up the mini treats for $6.29, then swapped them out for the snack bars, which are $6.79. So $13.58 for these two. I'm going to use these two $3 off Glucerna coupons. You can always search coupontom.com to find out what insert those come from. So that'll drop me down to $7.58. Earning back a $10 extra buck makes those two free plus a $2.42 moneymaker. All right, next I'm going for the CoverGirl deal. It is buy two, earn back a $6 extra buck. My store had two of the twin brow pencils left. So these are priced at $6.49 each. So $12.98 for both of those. I have the $3 instant coupon that everybody got for this week. Then I'm gonna use these two $3 expired coupons because my store does accept expired coupons. That's gonna drop me down to $3.98 and I'll earn back a $6 extra buck, making these two free plus a 202 moneymaker. We did get a $2 instant coupon last week. I already used it on this card. All right, now I'm going for some paper products. The Cottonelle, that's our favorite toilet paper, so I always stock up whenever we can get a deal on it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the purple one. That's the one we like best. They are on sale for $10.49, and they are on promotion for spend 20, earn back a $5 extra buck. I have 75 cent rebates on each one on Ibotta. And then I have a fetch bonus for $3.50 that I'll complete here. And then we got these awesome high value $2 off coupons. So these two will be $20.98. I'll use $4 in coupons. That'll leave me to pay $16.98. Earn back the $5 extra buck, $1.50 from Ibotta and $3.50 from fetch. Makes my cost just $6.98 for both packs, which is fantastic. But 
I have a threshold coupon that I'm going to use. I received in my email a $5 off your next $30 purchase. So my Glucerna, CoverGirl, and Cottonelle totals me $47.54. I did this strategically. So I'll be able to use that five off of 30 in this transaction. So after all my coupons and CRTs, it'll drop me down to just $23.54 for all of this. But I also have my Care Pass that I haven't used this a month. And I got a spectacular deal on Care Pass a little while back where it only cost me $3.35 per month to get $10. So that's a $6.65 in free money every month that I get, which is awesome. Then after everything that I'll earn back, which will be uh, $21 in extra bucks, my $1.50 from Fetch and my $3.50, no, my $1.50 from Ibotta and my $3.50 from Fetch, it's gonna make this transaction a $9 an 11 cent moneymaker, OMG. Okay, so here's why I added the ex more expensive Glucerna. I have $14 in extra bucks expiring today. Oh my gosh, I have to use them. I wanted to make sure with this transaction that I used enough extra bucks to pay that my subtotal would be zero. Because when your subtotal is zero, Fetch will actually take the retail value of the product versus if your subtotal is 50 cents, they'll take the amount after the coupons were used. And I wanted to finish that Fetch Rewards bonus and I needed to spend another $17, I think, and 91 cents to hit my Cottonelle bonus. So anyways, I'll be using my Care Pass, which is $10, and another $14 in extra bucks, and my subtotal is only gonna be $23.54. So I'm gonna lose a teeny little bit of extra bucks, but it'll be worth it to get back that fetch bonus. All right, I'm switching cards now, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the spend 30, earn back a $10 extra buck, and I'm gonna stock up on some laundry products. So I'm going for one of the big 92 ounces of Tide that are on sale for $12.99. My store was all out of the regular. I was trying to decide if I wanted Febreze or the one with Downy, so I'm gonna grab the one with Downy. Now, I have a $3 paper coupon for this. I do have a coupon fairy that does get the PNG with the laundry coupons. She is no longer accepting any new followers. Otherwise, I would share it with you. But you can print the $3 coupon from the PG Good website. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of the Tide Pods for $5.49. And we do have a $1 digital coupon for that product. I'm gonna go ahead and use my $1 paper coupon. And then I'm gonna grab some Gain products. I'm going for one of the liquids that are priced at $5.49. And we have a $1 digital coupon in the app for this product. And then I was gonna grab one of the Dawn Power Wash, but then I think I am getting, starting to run a little low on um, dryer sheets. So I decided to go ahead and grab one of the Gain dryer sheets instead, the 105 count that are 549 and included in the Spend 30 Earn 10. And I have a $1 digital coupon for the dryer sheets. So I'm at $29.46 with these four laundry products. After my $6 in coupons, that would leave me to pay $23.46, earn back $10 in extra bucks. So it would make my cost $13.46. But I am gonna mix this in with a threshold coupon to bring that cost down much lower. I'm not gonna do this deal, but I wanted to show you this deal. Um, we've got Asper Cream and Icy Hot on promotion for spend 12, earn back a $6 extra buck. I was thinking about doing this one in particular, the Icy Hot Max with Lidocaine, no mess. It's $12.79. I don't have any coupons for this, but I do have a 32% off your next purchase, which would take off $4.09. That would leave me at $8.69 for this product. I'd earn back the $6 extra buck, submit to Ibotta for $2 back, and then we have a rebate over on Shopkick for $2.48 back. It would make it free plus a $1.79 moneymaker. The only reason I decided not to do it is because, you know, with the percent off coupons, you have to pay those out of pocket since the percent off comes off 
after all coupons and extra bucks count in the system as coupons. And I really don't need the product. So justify, to justify paying $8.69 out of pocket just didn't work for me when I'm not going to get that much back in rebate money. But, I mean, you can use a Fetch gift card. There are lots of different ways you can pay it. If it is a product you need and you have a percent off coupon, it's a pretty good deal this week with the extra bucks coming back, the Ibotta rebate, and the Shopkick rebate. All right, I'm gonna grab the CoverGirl on this card as well. And I'm just gonna grab two mascaras since my store doesn't have any more of the brow pencils. These are $6.99 each. So $13.98 for both. I'm gonna use two of the $3 um, paper coupons. And then on this card, I have the instant coupon from this week and the instant coupon from last week. So that'll be $2.98 and I'll earn back a $6 extra buck making them free plus a $3.02 moneymaker. So what I'm going to do is add my CoverGirl in with all my laundry, and now I'm at $43.44, so I can use my email coupon that I got for $8 off your next $40 purchase. After all coupons and that $8 off $40, it's going to drop me down to $18.44, and I will uh, earn back $10 for the laundry and $6 for the CoverGirl, making all of those four laundry products, the cost of only $2.44. Another great deal this week is the Pooh Puri. If your store carries one that are priced high enough, they're on promotion for spend 10, earn back $7, and you could use a percent off coupon. I have enough right now, so I'm going to pass on this deal this week. All right, the last thing I'm going to grab is the Whole Blends deal. They're on sale two for eight, on promotion for buy two, earn back a $4 extra buck. And uh, we did get an instant coupon this week for $2 off when you buy two. So I'm going to go ahead after I dropped all that and then picked it up. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab these two. I am going to use an expired coupon for $3 off of two of them. So after that and my instant coupon, I will be left to pay $3 and earn back $4, making them a $1 moneymaker. All right, this is gonna be everything I'm grabbing from CVS today. We are gonna head over to Rite Aid and do a quick deal over at Rite Aid. All right, we're gonna do a quick little deal over at Rite Aid because the deals are pretty darn hot this week. Uh, there's so many different things you could do. I might actually come back, but thank you so much to Melissa who sent me a message over on Instagram and let me know the Neutrogena was actually triple dipping. So it's on promotion for the week of spend, no, of buy two, earn back $8 in bonus cash with a limit of two. There is also its own Neutrogena promotion of spend 40 on a whole bunch of different Neutrogena products and you earn back $10 in bonus cash. And there's this huge deal going on with a whole bunch of different personal care, bath products, makeup products, where if you spend 40, you earn back $10 in bonus cash. So for spending 40 on Neutrogena, I'm gonna earn back $36 in bonus cash. So basically I'm just mixing and matching products here. And what I'm grabbing is a total of $40 and 55 cents in Neutrogena products. Now I'm going to use the $5 off your next $25 purchase uh, that you get for getting a flu shot. I've talked about her several times on my channel. Coupons are sweet. I pop the picture right up on the screen. Follow her on Instagram. She posts all of the barcodes. Well, she also posted a new barcode of spend 25, earn back $5 in bonus cash that I'm also going to have the cashier uh, scan. So after the $5 off for the flu shot coupon, I'll pay $35.55 for all of these products just using bonus cash to pay for most of it. I think I have close to enough bonus cash. And then I'm gonna earn back $41 in bonus cash. You're making these free plus a $5.45 money maker. And then in a separate transaction, just because I don't wanna pay a whole lot out of pocket, I'll wait till my bonus cash, hit, cash hits from the Neutrogena. I'm gonna do the Blue Buffalo deal. These are on promotion 
for buy two, earn back $5 in bonus cash. And the little things are included. So I'm gonna grab two of the little cans of cat food, and then I'm gonna grab two of the cat treats. So that'll total me $7.26. I'll just pay that with bonus cash, and this deal is a limit of two. So I'll earn back $10 in bonus cash, making my cat food and treats free. Plus a two seventy four money maker. All right, let's head to the kitchen table and go over CVS and Rite Aid. And you are not gonna believe what happened to me at Rite Aid because I cannot believe it. All right, let's get to the table. All right, we are back from this CVS haul. A little Rite Aid, a little bit of CVS clearance that I found that I decided to pick up, and I still cannot believe what happened to me at Rite Aid. Okay. Let's uh, go over these receipts real quick. So I did two transactions over at CVS. So I did um, my Cottonelle, Glucerna, and CoverGirl. So here is my receipt for that. Both of my Cottonelles ringing up for $10.49 each. Um, the CoverGirl ringing up for $6.49 in the Glucerna. I used the two CoverGirl coupons, the two Glucerna coupons, and the two Cottonelle coupons. My five off 30 came off, my $3 instant coupon off cosmetics. I used my $14 in extra bucks that was expiring today, oh my gosh. And I used my Care Pass for $10 that only cost me $3.35. I had a subtotal of zero. Again, I told you in the, the store why I did that strategically because normally if you have any type of subtotal, Fetch will take this price minus what it says under coupon savings. And that is all they will credit you for when you're working towards bonuses. But if your subtotal is zero, they just go by the actual retail price. So, and I know some people will tell you to correct your receipt. I just personally do not do that with Fetch because if you correct your receipt too many times, they can lock your account out. So... Anyways, I just made sure I had a zero subtotal. <laughs> so I earned back my $10 extra buck for the Glucerna, my $6 extra buck for the CoverGirl, and my $5 extra buck for um, the Cottonelle. And then I did my second transaction where I got, um, I just put everything on the same one. I did my whole blends, my four laundry products, and my two CoverGirl used my... $3 paper coupon off of the whole blends, my $1 off the Tide Pods, my $3 off the two CoverGirl, and my $3 off the Tide. Both of my gain digitals came off, my eight off 40. Both of my instant coupons, one from last week, one from this week for the CoverGirl came off, and my instant coupon for the whole blends. I used uh, $20 in extra bucks to pay for this. This card also had $10 in extra bucks expiring today. I had a subtotal of $1.25 and I earned back the $4 for the whole blends, the $10 for spending 30 and the $6 for the cover girl. So let's talk about final numbers for a CVS. Um, I used $34 in extra bucks to pay for my transactions, plus my care pass that only cost me $3.35 and had a subtotal of $1.25. So I paid $38.60 for all of this. And I just showed you $41 in extra bucks that I earned back. Then I submitted to Ibotta for $1.50 back on the Cottonelle, 75 cents each. And submitted my receipt to Fetch Rewards to finish out that bonus that I had on Cottonelle. And I earned back $3.80. So I earned back a total of $46.30 where I paid $38.60. So it makes my CVS haul free plus a $7.70 a moneymaker. So, so happy about that. Four laundry products and two things of Cottonelle. All right, then I moved over to Rite Aid because it's literally right across the street from CVS. Oh, let me show you what I got on clearance at, you've probably already seen a ton of people, but um, Grayson's mother and father-in-law have a pool and they often, the kids will often go over there and go swimming. And so I sent her a picture of this and I was like, do you think Violet will need this? It was $2.50 down from like 
$24.99. They had two of them, so I just went ahead and grabbed both of them. She's like, yeah, especially for that price. And then they had like another pool toy. And then I found double-sided chalkboards. I found two of them, so I went ahead and grabbed them for $7.50 each, which I thought was a pretty good price for those. EJ loves drawing with chalk. Uh, so this could be a good Christmas gift. Maybe I'll have keep one here and give them one to have at their house. So that was my clearance finds. They had my store had a few other things, but nothing that I really wanted. All right, so then I ran over to Rite Aid and I did my Neutrogena deal. I had a little issue with this because everything rang up for more than it was marked for. I didn't even notice that the other products did, but I noticed this one did. So there they all are. That one rang up for $10.89. I noticed at the very end, uh, like these were $6.79 on the shelf. I didn't even notice those rang up more. Um, those were $6.99 on the shelf. They rang up more. Anyways, there's my $5 um, flu coupon coming off. I noticed it at the end. I told the cashier, these are priced at $9.99. I'm like, that's a dollar each. So we went back and looked at the tags. The tag said $9.99. So he said, I can modify the price for, of those for you. So what he had to do was he had to void them off. Well, because I already used bonus cash, it would only allow him to void off one because it would have taken me in the negative. So what he did was he just rang up that one and instead of it being $10.89, he priced it, he priced it for $8.99 since they were priced at $9.99 and just to make it easier, he just took the dollar off of both of them. Am I making sense there? Because they should have been $9.99 each, but they ran up for $10.89 each. So he, he did the one at $8.99. That's fine. Again, I didn't even notice everything else rang up for more. So my subtotal was $37.55. It was actually a whole $2 more when you add up the few cents on the rest of the products, but it's fine. So I used um, the bonus cash that I had, which was $30, paid the rest with my PayPal debit card, and I earned back $41 in bonus cash. So I earned back uh, the $8 twice for buying two of the Neutrogena products, the $10 for the beauty event. Oh my gosh, I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I need them done so bad. <laughs> $10 back for the Spend 40 and Beauty event and the $10 back from the Neutrogena. And then I had him scan that barcode of Spend 25, Earn Back 5. So awesome deal. Got me got myself some free Neutrogena. Then I did the cat treats on a second transaction just because I knew my bonus cash for my Neutrogena would load. And so those also... One of these cans of cat food was marked at $1.69. That rang up for $1.99. So $7.56, I just used bonus cash to pay, and I earned $10 in bonus cash. So Rite Aid was, I paid $45.11, and I earned back $51. So a $5.89 moneymaker over at Rite Aid, which is awesome. Here's what happened to me. I heard the Catalina machine printing out something and I was like, oh my gosh, am I going to get a threshold coupon? Because I told you guys last week when I did Rite Aid, uh, the store that I normally go to, their Catalina machine never works. So I never get any threshold coupons. He just stuck the coupons in the bag. I didn't even pay attention. I got home. <laughs> I can't even believe this. Did you catch my haul last week? where I had found the clearance of the vitamins. Which kind of vitamins were they? You know, the one that's on the Catalina promotion, where if you buy two, you earn back five. If you buy three, you earn back nine. I did not get my register reward because uh, their Catalina machine never worked. So I had to submit over to Catalina for it. OMG, look what printed. Oh, the Vitafusion, that's the name of the vitamins. My dang register reward printed today that I didn't get last week. What? How does that even happen? And if that is possible to make that happen, if a Rite Aid system somehow manages to know if you do not get your register reward and they print it the next time you come in, how come Walgreens can't do that when we don't get register rewards? Oh my gosh, you have to let me know 
if you are a Rite Aid a shopper, has that ever happened to you? I, like, I literally could not believe that the Catalina machine printed me out my $9 register award from last week that didn't print out. Oh my gosh. Anyways. All right. So today was a fantastic day. I had a $7 moneymaker over at CVS and a $5 moneymaker over at Rite Aid. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you so much. I'm going to see you again soon. Bye.